I love the idea of taking online surveys and earning money, especially when I can take those surveys from my couch and from home. I absolutely love this idea. So I wanted to test exactly how much money you could make in seven days on Survey Junkie. Stick around, I'm gonna show you exactly how much I made. Hey guys, it's Justine with Debt Free Millennials, the channel to help you crush your debt and live payment free. When I was paying off $35,000 in student loan debt, one of the ways that I earned extra money or just extra perks that I didn't have to technically spend money on was by taking online surveys. I really liked this idea because I could take the survey, get points, and then exchange those points for various gift cards. Now I did this a lot back when I was paying off debt and I'm still doing it today just so that I can get gift cards to spend on birthdays or Christmas cash and I'm not tapping into my budget. So Survey Junkie is an online survey platform that connects you with other companies who want to know your opinion on various products and services and genuinely want to know what you think. So I've been using Survey Junkie for a couple of years now but I wanted to kind of set the rewind here and show you exactly how much you could earn in just seven days. So let me get into the stats of exactly what I did for seven days and how long it took me. First, I took a total of 26 surveys. It took me 103 minutes and I earned dun, 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 341 points. Now, the way that the point system works in Survey Junkie is just about one point equals one penny, and then you have to meet a $10 minimum threshold to exchange those points for gift cards. The big gift cards that they offer are e-gift cards, so they are emailed to you. You can get some for Amazon, Target, Starbucks, there's a whole bunch on there. So 341 points is $3.41, which is way, way, way below minimum wage. Like this is abysmal in terms of how much I earned. Now, one thing to know is that 26 survey number, some of those surveys I didn't fully qualify for. And sometimes I felt like I was getting stuck in like a link train of different URLs. And so I'd be caught spinning in a cycle. And some of those surveys I didn't fully qualify for. A lot of the times though, what I like about Survey Junkie is they will give you two to three points just for trying as like, hey, sorry, we wasted your time. So that is nice. But sometimes the surveys would give me an error message and I wouldn't get any points and that was really frustrating. So the surveys that I were taking ranged in different topics. Some were about financial products, some were about video games, some were about grocery shopping, listening to the radio, alcohol, all these different things. Now, the best way that you can get matched up with the right survey is making sure you fill out your profile completely. Tell them what your interests are, what your demographic is. You do have to share a lot of personal information through the platform. However, everything is anonymous through Survey Junkie. And then once you hit that $10 minimum payout, then you can exchange those for gift cards. Now, I only made just just under $3.50 in one week. So at this rate of just spending about 15 minutes per day, then it's going to take me about three weeks to hit that $10 minimum amount. Another thing to know is based upon the number of surveys that I took, I averaged about 13 points earned per survey. Now, had I spent more time, I think I could have earned a little bit more points, but honestly, I have other stuff to do and I have other ways that I can make way more money than Survey Junkie, so I really kept it to about 15 to 20 minutes per day. If you wanna try Survey Junkie, I will leave my link below for you to sign up and check it out, and hopefully you are earning more than me. $3.41, meh. I mean, in terms of an hourly rate, that's just really terrible for what you can earn here in the States. I think when I was working at Chili's as a waitress, my per hour rate was $2.15, but I was making tips on top of it. So this is worse than Chili's, guys. <laughs> If you like online surveys, be sure to check out Survey Junkie for more tips on savings and how to crush your debt. 
and live payment free, be sure to subscribe to the Debt Free Millennials channel.